I got one in the hole right there. Look at that. There, got him. Ooh, that feels like a good one. You know, we live in central Minnesota and for five months of the year, we have ice cover. You know, up in this region, actually a lot of people fish more through the ice than they do in open water. You can look around us here and there's probably 30 houses pretty close by. All different species of fish bite right through the ice. Right now, we're fishing for something that you're not gonna probably believe. Up here we fish for a lot of uh, walleyes, northern pike, lake trout. Look at this guy digging. But you'll see what type of treat we're fishing through the ice right here. I've never done this before. Actually, I'm out here with Al Linder and uh, Steve Hoffman, editor of the In Fisherman Catfish Guide. And do you know what we're fishing for? Catfish through the ice. And this is my first one, and I'm really quite impressed by them. Ooh, there we go. It's one thing nice about these cats, Mr. Hoffman, when they're, their uh, fins stick out, they don't go back down the hall. <laughs> Look at that, cats through the ice. There we go. First one. <laughs> I told you, Hoffman, I got a hot hole here. Whoa, whoa, he just got mad. Holy smokes, look at him. Holy smokes. That one's going. This one might be a little better than I had anticipated initially. Look at these. These are nice channels. I bet you in this cold water, they really eat good, too. Look at this. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at how pretty those fish are. Absolutely magnificent looking. Huh? Channel cats through the ice. You know, I've never seen anybody do a television show on this, anybody do a magazine article on it. Although we're doing it in the new catfish guide, we're sharing all the information we found to date. It's relatively a new. People have been doing it, but the information hasn't been spread the way it should be. Hey, some of the stuff we're talking about here, you might want to try on your favorite water. If you got ice and cats, it's a good bet. You can catch a bunch of them. Mr. Hoffman, I got another one way off the bottom. There he is. Ooh, this guy here feels a little bit better. Ooh, he was way up. I mean, everybody always, you know, they think catfish, as the water gets colder, the fish pull into their wintering holes, and that's what we're sort of fishing, actually, a wintering area, are we not? Yeah, we sure are. There's both the resident population of fish that live in this lake, and there's also lots of fish that'll move into overwinter in this deep portion of the lake from the river that feeds. Yeah, yeah, that's really so. a little bit. I'm not kidding you. I've been seeing them come through really high off the bottom. That was really surprising me. I thought they were crappies. Ooh, Whoa. Well, that's a heck of a crop. It's like yeah. lake trout fish. It reminds me of lake, lake trout fishing. Yeah. Catfish through the ice. Can you imagine it? Absolutely. Amazing. You caught three so far. Ooh, Look at that nice guy. One. Ooh, nice yeah. one. Nice one. Yeah. Ooh. 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 <laughs> Boy, they're really aggressive. I really can't believe it. Everybody thinks that catfish, when the water gets really cold, these fish go to sleep. As you can see, that's not really the case. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Finding cold water cats is actually quite a simple operation. In a river feeding a lake situation like we're fishing today, a lot of the cats will dump out of the river where they spend the summer into the first deep holes in the lake. By the same token, cats that inhabit the lake throughout the summer months would probably move into the same wintering area. In smaller river situations, the absolute deepest hole in a 10 to 12 mile stretch would probably concentrate all the fish in that given river section. In bigger rivers, deep backwater lakes can draw a lot of cats. The deepest holes in the lower end of feeder rivers can be a good wintering spot. The common denominator of all these areas is depth and slow current. It's important to remember not to over harvest these fish since large populations of cats can be gathered in a very, very small spot. What we're using here is medium weight walleye gear. We've got a 36 inch uh, ice rod and a reel that'll hold about 50 yards, a 10 pound test line. Using a quarter ounce jig, color doesn't seem to matter, but we are using a touch of phosphorescent paint that'll provide a little bit of visibility in, the, in this deep water that we're fishing. 
And we're just tipping these jigs with a fresh cut piece of, uh, of silver shiner. We just run it through one time, leave the hook point exposed. That's all there is to it. The way we're fishing for these cats is a little bit different than the way we'd fish for lake trout or walleye or other cool water species. We're giving it an aggressive jigging action, but that's definitely an attracting maneuver. We want to hop this up a foot and a half to two feet and let it hold. And we're waiting for a cat to move in till we see one on our sonar unit. And uh, once, a, once a fish moves in, we're just holding that bait still. Uh, no jiggling, no bouncing the rod tip. Just hold it still, let the cat get its bearings and, and hit the bait. And quite often the hit isn't as aggressive as, as you might expect. Your rod tip will just sort of dip over and uh, the cat has the bait nine times out of 10 and you can set immediately without waiting. There's one. Well, this one looks a little better. get him up here, have a look at him. As I mentioned, we're fishing here on a lake feeds, that's fed by a river. The river runs right through the, the center of this lake. But the same principle, the same techniques that we're using in the same locations that we're fishing here uh, can be found on different lakes and reservoirs and even slow moving river backwaters uh, throughout the winter. Actually, what we do a lot is when we're looking for fish, you can actually just take a little bottle like this with water in it, and we're actually reading right through the ice. Look at that. See, oh, it's 28. She's dropping a lot faster over here. You can actually, some of, sometimes if you have fish underneath it, you'll be able to see them. It's a little bit easier in the fact that you really don't have to uh, cut a lot of holes to see what the depth is. And all you have to do is make sure you got to get down to the ice because you can actually read through a couple of feet of ice really easily with a locator like this. Up well, there's one right off, him. about three foot off. <laughs> got him. <laughs> it's incredible. You know, it, cats through the ice are no different than any other fish. If you're not using your electronics, you're not catching the amount of fish you could. There's no question about it. We wouldn't normally see these fish at the levels they're coming at. You know where they're coming at uh, four, six, eight, ten foot off at the bottom? You would think the tendency would be to fish near the bottom for cats, and it isn't. The, these active fish are up, and without your electronics, you'd blow them off. You see the fish come in on the screen. Whoops, look at them go. You see the fish come in on the screen, lift that bait up to them. Look at this, a little better one. And bingo, they bite it. They're that active. Really quite incredible. There's anything. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that one. Oh, oh. Oh. Hold it, Junior Samples. Hold it. There. Ooh. We're shooting some stuff for in fishermen's beautiful fish. catfish insider, rather. Okay. And uh, doing a little bit of a story on this at the same time which I think is a really good story. Cats through the ice. Look at that. Steve, what do you think about the seasonality of these fish? Uh, is it a, would it be a lot like uh, other species of fish, like uh, crappies, bluegills, and walleyes? We have a lot better fishing, usually early season, and as it gets later, it generally gets tougher. Well, that's certainly true with these channel catfish. Uh, when they start to stack up in these deep basin areas uh, in late fall, uh, they're, they're certainly aggressive, and they're going to stay aggressive throughout the early ice period, say, till where we're fishing, beginning of January. Uh, and, and as the water starts to get cooler and cooler, the metabolism continues to slow, and the bite is also going to slow. Uh, if there's enough of these cats, as there is in this area, we can probably continue to catch them throughout the winter. But if the, like I said, the action is going to continue to slow as the water gets colder. These fish have collected and actually drained out of this river and are actually collected into these holes. And there are probably actually hundreds of fish in here right now underneath our feet, hundreds of cats. Right, there's, there's probably thousands of catfish per acre in this, in this portion of the lake basin that we're fishing. And that's part of the, the reason the action is so good for us today is because of that abundance and the competition for available forage 
these fish are definitely in the mood to eat. There's one, there's one on the screen. As soon as you see them, they hit. That one's about six foot off. How many of you have ever, ever tried fishing cats through the ice? I bet you not a whole lot. But that's going to change quickly. <laughs> this is a better one here. Feels like a lot better one. You know, though we've, as Steve was saying, we're using a real subtle fishing technique to get the fish to strike the bait, but we're still using a pretty aggressive method as far as finding the fish. We've been cutting a lot of holes. We fish in a hole for a little while. If we don't get any strikes after you catch a fish or two, we cut another hole pretty quickly. So we're going to the fish rather than waiting for them to come to us. Ooh. Help with him? Ooh, no way, he's going the other way. He's, he's oh, heading that's down. Fish, yeah. Yeah. I've seen the bottom of that hole. <laughs> if that, if that <laughs> fish is 10, 10, 12 pounds, we're going to have to. You said you had some channels here that are pushing 15 out here, right? 15 to 20 pounders are caught here every year during the summertime, so it would not be unusual to catch one here through the ice. Well, he, a 15 pounder ain't coming through that hole. Not coming through the hole. I try to really make it as easy as possible when I'm cutting holes with a chisel. <laughs> I may make a recommendation that in the future you chisel a little bit bigger because his head might not get in here. He loses a big one, he'll be chiseling a trough. That's a yeah. big one. <laughs> Ooh, oh, nice fish. Fish. Really nice fish. How are you going to get her head in here, know. man? Boy, look at that. Look at that. Ooh, Ooh, come on, this is going to be interesting. I don't know if you're going to get that big oh. old whiskered puss up in here. Boy, look at that. He doesn't want to get through there either. Oh. If you get her head just turned, I think I can get her. I get a lip you line. You may have to get the chisel out on this guy. Right, there she there is. There he is. Oh, his head is stuck in the ice. <laughs> can you get it? Can no, you get I can't. His head is stuck in there. There we go. Look at that. I can guarantee you, in the future, you're going to hear a lot more. When you can catch fish like this through the ice, that's going to get the attention of a lot of people question about it. That's a beautiful catfish.